What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. As many of you know, I do have COVID, so I'm stuck here at home. And I thought to, I would put together a video uh, on what to buy on eBay. Uh, some vintage items. We've got some CGC graded Star Wars comics, some trading cards, some vintage collection. A pretty nice assortment. But we're going to start off with what not to buy. And that is this, what's labeled as a 1980s vintage Hungarian bootleg mint on card biker scout. And unfortunately, this one is not legitimate. So uh, it's got 19 watchers on it right now. But this seller uh, did approach the uh, the bootleg group on Facebook, and it, it, it was noted to him that the, the item was not legitimate. And uh, there's no mention of that in, in uh, this auction. And the giveaway is this weapon has a little plastic piece off the back of the blaster, which did not... Uh, which apparently is not legitimate and it was kind of iffy so you know again no offense to the seller uh, but this was deemed as not a legitimate uh, vintage Hungarian bootleg by some of the experts within the bootleg group on Facebook this item does have 19 watchers but uh, I think that just based on the information I received from a number of experts within the bootleg group that this item is believed to be a fake card so just keep that in mind uh, the, the figure itself could be legit I don't know but there are a lot of fakes rolling around out there and this one was deemed to be uh, a fake by uh, a number of experts so just be be aware of that that this one is probably not legitimate and I'd probably steer clear from it but let's dig into some other items uh, the first off is a 1980s Star Wars tops trading card graded PSA 9 and it's labeled Luke arrives and it's just a great scene of him uh, trying to save Han Solo uh, after he was encased in carbonite. It's got the blaster burns on the wall there. Luke is kind of hidden behind the wall, getting ready to get attacked by Boba Fett, or it could be shortly afterwards. Uh, but just a great looking card and a PSA 9. It's it's $64.99 plus $6 shipping. That's probably not too far off of the market value. Uh, it is a make it offer situation, so you might be able to get it closer to $50 or $55. But uh, I just love the way that card looks, and it's a nice high grade. Next up, we've got a No COO Rebel Commando. Uh, this has got the brand new case towel, UKG 85%, and there's six watchers on this one right now. It's it's listed for 80 pounds, uh, or about 90 US dollars plus shipping. I think if I'm over here in the U in the UK, I'd probably consider that because uh, the shipping cost is probably a lot less than uh, for those of us in the US, but that's not a bad price at all for a no COO painted face Rebel Commando. The most common being the China COO. The no COO is a little bit tougher to find and I, I really like that figure a lot. Uh, next up, I've got a couple of loose loose figures that are not graded. Uh, this one is a painted face General Maydeen. I believe it's legitimate. It, you know, it's, it's there's not many repro staffs out there and uh, the figure looks like the Hong Kong. There's only one photo, unfortunately, but a pretty low risk proposition. It's 20 bucks, 20 bucks free shipping. I think I'd roll the dice on that one because uh, the Hong Kong painted face is a nice example. Uh, and I'm gonna show you an example, an example of that that's graded within my collection in a video later this week. But uh, really nice looking, very clean, no edge wear or no you know, kind of rubs to the, to the hands or the gloves. Uh, really nice looking figure though for 20 bucks pretty low risk next up is a loose r5d4 1978 hong kong coo and it's not an it's not super mint but it's pretty pretty darn nice condition as you can see here uh you know just some slight wear to the sticker as you can see but uh and maybe just slightly yellowed to the sticker but it's listed for 55 canadian dollars or about 40 us dollars plus another 480 shipping uh, so let's call that about 44 bucks for an 80 plus condition R5D4. It's listed as stiff limbs with a head that still clicks. The chrome is in excellent condition. It's just that sticker it has a little bit of wear to it. Uh, next up, this is a really interesting one. This is a VC68 Canadian uh, Echo Base Rebel Soldier. And this has the hard to find name pill with like five different languages on it. It is punched with just a light, light bit of edge wear to it. But I can tell you, I've got an, an unpunched Canadian version of this same card back, and I paid quite a bit more than $70 for this. It's also a make an offer situation. It's free shipping, $70 US dollars, five watchers on it right now. But that name pill has like 
all kinds of different languages on it and it's, it's a really cool variation that i do have in my collection and uh you know this is the first issue obviously we've got mandalorian number two in a cgc 9.8 uh, this seller has two of them available, and it's 59 bucks plus $11 shipping. This, of course, is the first full appearance of Grogu in comics, and this is the standard cover A, but a great cover. I love this cover a lot, uh, but a pretty good price, 59 bucks plus $11 shipping. Uh, next up is an older case style, but this is the Leia Hoff graded UKG 85%, but this is the tougher-to-find no COO variant, and uh, this would appear on, like, Palatoy or Palatoy Tri-Logo card backs. And so this was released over in Europe. Again, it is the older case style, but it's only listed for 120 pounds or about 137 US dollars plus shipping. Of course, the global shipping program uh, does have a, a pretty expensive shipping cost. But if I'm over in the UK, that's a nice example of the no COO Leia Hoff. Uh, next up, we've talked about this die cast tie bomber several times. And we noted one that sold for like 1300 US dollars. This one looks like it's actually pretty legit. Um, it does not have much yellowing on the plastic portions of the wings or that plastic fuselage piece there on the right hand side. But overall in fantastic condition, just some light chipping as you can see on the back of the of the die cast uh, tie bomber. One of the toughest die cast to find if not the toughest. Right now it's listed for $850 free shipping with 12 watchers and uh, it's also make an offer situation. I would pay that all day long. Maybe you can try $750, somewhere in that ballpark, but I think it's worth every penny of, of even the asking price. Uh, next up is another trading card. This is titled uh, The Mysterious and Deadly Chamber. So this is when uh, the Millennium Falcon was inside the belly of the beast, so to speak, inside that big crater, and the Minox got on, started chewing the power cables to the Millennium Falcon. Great looking card, PSA 9. Right now, it's it's at an auction that ends in two days, $50 free shipping. I bet it, it sells for close to that price, but that's a nice looking card. Uh, next up, I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, mixed on this one, but this is an AFA 75 32 back V Hoth Snow Trooper. Uh, it's got the archival case 75, 75, 75 were the sub score. So you can see a little bit of yellowing to the torso and to the helmet on that Snow Trooper, but a beautiful card. It does have a little bit of creasing on the front of the card. Right now it's listed for $700 plus $1,275 shipping, but it is make an offer. I think if you can get it closer to $600, maybe even $550, that would be a pretty good buy for a tough-to-find Hoth Stormtrooper. Um, this was another interesting one that it's so hard to value it, but I wanted to show it because it's so rare. And these are the Hungarian editions of Star Wars issue number one and two, graded by CGC, they're both graded 5.0, but look how beautiful that, that art is on the front of that comic. And uh, these are very tough foreign variants to find for that comic book. And uh, it's got the Hungarian language there. Great looking foreign piece there. I love those the, the card art on these. It's listed for $620. It's got 11 watchers plus $18 shipping. But again, I have no idea what the real value is. I did receive an offer, as you can see here, for $600. So maybe you try in the fives somewhere. Uh, I have noted a few of these that have sold on Comic Link for, um, you know, a little bit less, but, you know, like $175 to $200 a piece, uh, but I don't remember the grades on them. They could have been graded a little bit lower than, than how these are graded, but uh, these are the highest graded Hungarian comics on CGC Census. Again, they're 5.0s, and again, they're, they're $620, but 11 watchers, and I did receive an offer for $600, so if you're into kind of some very rare pieces that have the highest possible grades. Uh, that's that's a really good looking set of comics. Next up is an interesting one. This is signed by Rosario Dawson, the Ahsoka Tano Mandalore Vintage Collection figure. It's graded CAS 90. It does have the Signature Series label. Um, it would be nice if this was on the Corvus Ahsoka Tano, but it is on the Mandalore version, but it is signed, autographed by Rosario Dawson. Uh, right now, it's it ends in two days and ten hours as of the making of this video, uh, for two hundred dollars, fifteen seventy shipping. There are eight watchers on it, but no bids yet. So I just thought it was worth showing that because maybe you get it close to that starting list price. Uh, next up is another comic, a CGC nine point eight Sprouse variant, and this is signed by Nick Maley, who uh, is the designer of Yoda. Um, but a pretty cool looking CGC 9.8 signature series yellow label 
and uh, got the great gold autograph there on the front and, along with a beautiful cover of Yoda and it's it, well I'm sorry one bid just ha happened when I assembled this but it's $49.95 right now with $15.70 shipping but that bid just came in two days 10 hours left and if you can get it for like 75 80 bucks I think that'd be a pretty fair deal for an autographed uh, comic book Next up is a UKG 90% IG88, and this is Buy It Now situation for 120 bucks. It is the old label, though, as you can see. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me. I've got a, a little bit of a cough from the COVID, but uh, it is the older label. 90%, though. That's a beautiful, beautiful IG88. This is the gray, light gray version, uh, Hong Kong COO. Uh, but 120 bucks. it's hard to beat that for a UKG 90%, even though it is the old label. Uh, one hundred and twenty dollars, five forty shipping. That's a that's a buy in my opinion, even though it is the older label. Next up, I got the second print for Darth Vader number three. Of course, this is the first appearance of Doctor Aphra and her two droids. This one just got listed for two hundred and three U.S. dollars, or about two hundred and seventy-five Canadian, plus twenty-two dollars shipping. But it is a make an offer situation. I paid one hundred and seventy for mine. I have this exact comic, so one hundred and seventy dollars is a data point to aim for for that. Second print, Darth Vader number three. Uh, next up is an AFA 85 Pink Tusk Hong Kong Walrus Man, older case style, but it's listed for 150 bucks, $14 shipping. That's not too off, too far off of market value in my opinion, and that's a great looking example of the Wally. Uh, next up is another interesting one that I hesitated showing, but I thought it was worth showing. It's labeled as a first shot prototype, but it's really just a first shot head pull and half torso pull so as you can see the head is unpainted and the front half of the torso is unpainted the rest of it is production but uh, this would qualify as a first shot head and torso pull since uh, the front uh, torso piece as well as the head are unpainted and it's listed for $159 plus $7 shipping that's probably about right honestly I mean a, a, fur, a full first shot prototype would probably run you about $350 so this is appropriately discounted, in my opinion, for $160 plus $7 shipping. Uh, next up is another one that just got listed. Brand new case style, UKG 85% Biker Scout Hong Kong COO. And uh, this is listed for 120 pounds or about 137.50 US plus shipping. There are already three watchers on it. This just got listed this morning, but a beautiful example of the Biker Scout. Uh, next up, I've got the Mandalorian number one, the one in 25 ratio variant. This is listed for $89 plus $16.95 shipping. This has been hovering between $100 and $125 and the price has been coming back down again. Uh, there's 13 watchers on this one. I think this is a buy. If I felt like buying right now, I'd probably buy it myself. But this is the one in 25 David Aha Aja uh, variant cover. I've got the one in 10 and I got the one in 50, but I don't have the one in 25 yet. And this is probably my favorite cover, to be honest with you. It's just a beautiful cover. The first full appearance of The Mandalorian in comic books, as well as the first cameo appearance of Grogu. But uh, that's a great price. And then finally, I've got Confronting the Dark Side, a PSA 9 1980s Tops card. And this shows Luke Skywalker entering the Cave of Evil on Dagobah. Beautiful card, and it's listed for 60 bucks plus $4.59 shipping, a buy it now situation. That's a beautiful card and one I'd definitely consider. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at all of these vintage Kenner items, vintage collection, trading cards, as well as CGC graded comics. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon.